Happy Saturday, guys. Today we're doing um, Filthy 50, that class of CrossFit workout. 50 reps of box jumps, jumping pull-ups, swings, lunges, knees to elbows, push press, Superman arches, wall wall shots, burpee, and double under. So a grocery list of movements here. So today's workout, guys, I want you to focus on your um, training on building your mental and your physical endurance today. So that's gonna be the main focus of today's workout to really get that reward out of the workout once you finish that last um, set of double unders, once you hit that 50, um, once you finish that workout, trying to get that reward by the end of it. So to do that, guys, I want you to think about picking your battles in this workout and starting um, or choosing one thing to focus on um, in each movement and not trying to rush through each movement. So you're not gonna win in each movement, obviously, but you wanna pick your battles throughout this workout. So for me, when I go into it, um, I'm gonna see those lunges and for example, those double unders um, and maybe those uh, push presses, more of kind of like a break and I can quickly kind of get through those. Those are gonna be easy. The 50 reps are not too much. It's a pretty lightweight and I can get through it in two or three sets. Um, the other ones, guys, Think about a strategy going into it, maybe the wall balls or even the burpees. Maybe you do five reps, take a quick little break, do another five reps so you can kind of move your uh, way through it without making it too long and too mentally draining when you're doing that workout. So think about those workouts that are the movements that are gonna be good for you and think about those movements that you might need to break up a little bit more so you can keep that um, training going on both your physical and your mental endurance in this workout. So the goal would be, with each movement to finish it within about three to four minutes. So with the box jumps, the jumping pull-ups, any other movement here, you wanna be finishing in about three to four minutes before you move on to the next one. If you find that it's getting a little bit longer, maybe you wanna down bring that your progression down just a little bit so that you can keep that consistent pace so you can finish it around 30 to 40 minutes today. Um, and I want you guys to look into your journals to see if you've done this one before. You might've done this one workout in the past, see if you can match the same progressions you've done and try to beat your time or try to get as close as possible to the progressions that are provided today in the workout to see what you can do with the today's benchmark if you've never done it before. But this one's a good one, guys. Um, it's definitely um, a mental one, especially around like 70% to a, in the workout, around that wall ball shots and the burpees. But once you finish that, guys, the double unders are pretty easy and you just finish off and you've done 500 reps in total. So it's really rewarding to get that all done. Um, and it's a um, really good uh, feeling after the workout's finished. So after you finish this one, guys, not much to do today. You don't have to do anything too crazy. Just three to five minutes of just breathing, cool down, whether it be in a stretch position, um, or if you just want to lie down and take three to five minutes just to uh, think about just what happened after doing 500 reps, you can do that. But just try to use that as your time to kind of calm down your nervous system and get yourself recovered so you can attack the next week strong. Hope you guys enjoy the workout and we'll see you guys next week.